we're on. Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're here with the two LAC 100 winners from Utah. And on my right here, I have... Courtney Sheeran. And to my left, I have... Madison Clark. Both participated at uh, Lani Kai Athletic Club Utah. She was on the 18s team and she was on the 15s green team. Both had a very excellent season. And our first season there in Utah was a success. Uh, we were able to have our LEC 100 program established and these were our first two winners for our first year um, running the program. So we're gonna go ahead and ask a few questions on how they were able to obtain the LEC 100 uh, how the trip went for them and any good advice they have for the next years to come. So, um, would you like to share with us how you went about achieving the LAC 100 award? Um, <clears throat> most of it was just from working hard in practice and in tournaments, never being lazy or complaining to your coach. Um, and then also I got some for um, getting good grades. I got a 4.0 cumulative GPA. So, yeah, study hard in school. And here, Maddie, her team was very successful this year and got a bunch of LEC 100s from winning tournaments. And so, could you tell us a little bit about that experience? Yeah, like just getting together with the team, like, I don't know, just being close with them just like works better like that. <laughs> and they were able to be successful in uh, multiple tournaments this year, and uh, both teams had a very successful season. So, um, as far as the ending of the trip coming along, uh, how was your experience? And just give us a brief uh, nutshell description of what you went through and your thoughts of prior to coming here and what you experienced. Well, I've never been to Hawaii before, so it was, it's always been my dream, so I was so excited when I got drawn. So when I first came here, I didn't really know what to expect. I'd just seen pictures and stuff, but the ocean is beautiful. We went saw the mountains, we went snorkeling and saw turtles and I swam out to dolphins. Like it was just an experience of a lifetime and the people here will take care of you. Like <laughs> they're amazing. Oh yeah, it's like sweet seeing it in a local's eye. Like just it's totally different and like it's fun like doing the sand tournaments. So yeah, we had them uh, able to join us in practice um, in our um, clinics that we were hosting this week as well as a beach tournament we just had today. Um, unfortunately, our buddy here, Courtney, wasn't able to participate. She tore ACL, but she was there cheering everybody on and be able to experience and see the atmosphere we create there on Waikiki Beach. Um, Maddie was here, be able to participate in it. Um, and good experience? It's hot. It was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. That's fun. Good. Yeah, so um, we continue want to continue to do these type of programs and um, you know with the hard work they put in and what our staff puts in to be able to create these opportunities for our athletes uh, we look forward to doing these things in the future um, a few more questions um, how is your parents or your family's take on or friends you tell us a bit about your family and you tell us about your friends and how they felt when you guys told me you want a trip to Hawaii well, my parents are so excited. My friends are mad because they want to go to Hawaii. They were all telling me to take them with me. But um, yeah, they were just so excited. I remember getting home and we were just like jumping up and down screaming because I got a free trip to Hawaii. Like it's unheard of and I was so excited. And she told me in the car she never wins. <laughs> so she won a trip to Hawaii, which is makes up for all the rest of the Yes, yep. not winning. How about you? How about your friends and family? What they were my telling My family, they were like, yeah, go. See ya. <laughs> My friends were jealous. They were, yeah, they wanted to go. Yeah, and it was really cool to be able to have our both uh, the Hawaii athletes and the Utah athletes intermix and be able to meet each other and actually experience some, you know, day-to-day -day living here in Hawaii. So you'd be able to experience the culture a little bit as well as the local cuisine. Yeah, food was amazing. Yeah, we ate lots of rice and sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Yeah, so they were able to experience as, as a local's point of view. Um, and we were hoping to be able to experience, um, share this with the future LEC 100 winners. But uh, for the most part, you know, we are very grateful for their commitment to Lani Kai. And thank you for you guys' hard work and dedication to being role models as well as, uh, you know, good athletes and students and everything else that describe what attitude and effort is in LEC 100. So. 
congratulations. And uh, any last closing statements for the future LEC 100 winners? <laughs> Mahalo. Oh, Shaka. 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 <laughs>